glad that there are so many people interested in backports. Um, we will be tracking some of this stuff in the Gobit document, DC11 buff backports. Um, so if you want to add something or drop some ideas, please go to this document and write it in there. Gobit Net is also uh, accessible from the outside world, so people watching the stream can join us in here too. Um, I expect most of you know what the backport service actually is. We are providing a place for new packages with newer features for stable. Uh, as we all know, there is no new code allowed into a stable release once it gets released. Only security fixes and bug fixes are allowed therein. For some things, people want newer features within the packages, so we have the backport services where we offer versions from testing uh, for recompiled in a stable environment so that they can directly be used on a stable system. Uh, since last year, we are an official service, which means uh, we are using, using the official infrastructure, like the official build demons, and are also included in the main archive, um, sort of, um, at least on the official FTP servers. But there are still some areas where we would like to be better incorporated and this session is about naming them, uh, potentially finding out who we might to involve, whom we, we might to address uh, and ask what needs to be done and how to get it incorporated. The most prominent part is the bug tracking system. We are not included there yet for several reasons. The bug tracking system currently can just store a single maintainer for a package. And often, in some cases, the person who takes care for the backport is not the official maintainer in the main archive. So it would Need, need to be able to track uh, two different maintainers. The other thing is it doesn't know about the uh, versions within backports yet, so it might need to incorporate the backports change logs also into the version graph to be able to do the version tracking there. I think maybe you are able to give an insight if there are some more areas that need to get addressed or if these are just the, these two points. The multiple maintainers I, I, is an issue that would need to be addressed. Uh, version tracking, I'm pretty sure, would be able to handle it. It would do it similar to the way it does it for um, uh, not uh, no, not security. Um, uh, the not not unstable. The uh, experimental. Uh, okay. It it would mm -hmm. pretty much be just another release that's tracked separately. Experimental releases are tracked separately from uh, uh, regular re releases to unstable and the version tracking already handles that, so. Okay, um, to some degree, I would hope that people who do the backports would subscribe just to the package through the PTS, so they get bug notification. But on the other hand, some, some people do have a strong opinion and objection in respect to doing that. So I think the best option here is really to get 
multiple maintenance support into the bug tracking system. Another point is that the package side doesn't show the change logs yet. This has been on my agenda for a while. The FTP master team offers us already extracted change log files and copyright files, not only for the main archive, but also for backports and also for security. Uh, so the benefit would be for all of these parts, the package sites currently does need a display the change logs for security uploads, so th this would get done at the same time. If someone is familiar with Perl, Perl um, and template tool toolkit probably, please get in contact with me if you're interested to work on this task. Also, Dput does complain about included Oryx source in the first upload to backports, uh, which it somehow should not, because it's a different archive and it needs to get the Oryx source uploaded there on first upload. So this is just a minor issue, but it also needs to get addressed still. I think that my, I'm personally not using upload, uh, but it might have the same issue. I'm not sure if it does check something like that. There's also include it um, dpackage scan changes. It would be very convenient if it would include the Oryx source, figuring it out through the through the either through the version or through the change log, which Baxi once uh, suggested to me when I asked him how to do it properly. Um, this is also a piece of Perl code, so if it would be quite nice if someone is willing to invest a bit of time. I think it shouldn't take too long, but um, should be done properly here because this is really an issue. Uh, a fair amount of people do forget to include the Oryx source on first upload and then get annoyed by receiving the reject mails and have to upload again. And it's a bit cumbersome, so if this can be done, that would be really great. Also, um, there's quite some Lintian warnings which should be silenced with, with respect to backports, like the NMU check comes to mind, but I think there might be some other Lintian warnings which could be addressed or maybe even added to make backports better in that respect. And yeah, I, there's one thing that I haven't put here yet. Um, I have the idea spinning around. I started with a small script like uh, a upload queue that you can upload at any time and it will check the version both against the testing and the backports archive and would put it into the real upload queue when the time has passed to get it included. This would enable people to, to prepare the package at the same time they do the upload to Unstable, drop it there and not have to think about it uh, and do the upload when the testing transition happens so they can already upload it beforehand, have it done, have it tested in their environment, and they still should be able to get it removed in case they find troubles, but that's the usually idea behind it. It's not finished yet, but it's one of the ideas that are spinning around in my head. And yeah, that's more or less the ideas from my side. Uh, I would like to know if there is some other services or 
improvements that you would like to see? Oh, you Even if it might not be software that's unrelated, uh, sort of unrelated to backports, but um, even within the backport service directly, if there's some enhancements that you would like s to see, please bring up. How are you currently tracking security issues using security tra tracker, Debian? Yes, um, backports is included in the security tracker for a pretty long time, even before it became official already. Um, I'm very glad for uh, very thankful that Florian added backports to the security tracker. Um, there are obviously some false positives uh, at some point, and I think there is no possibility yet to mark a security problem specific to backports or not relating backports, but at least it's possible to get a list of issues that potentially uh, affect backport, backported packages. Are there any plans to move the backport archive into the uh, main Debian archive so that all the Debian mirrors carry backports? Yes. That ETA? Is not really Yes, there is a plan to actually get all the archive security and backports m migrated into the main archive. We don't have a real ETA on that because it needs some coding. Come to the buff, uh, buff on Thursday for duck coding. We need more coders. Um. Danny. Uh, so if if there is a potential for an archive merge, would that remove the issues about um, the fail to upload the original source in the back in the yes, backward packages? Yes, that will reduce that issue or get rid of it completely. Okay, great. Also for the security team. Related to that, could we get the backports archive um, automatically pull the origin source from the main archive? If it's not uploaded, send a patch for Doug. <laughs> Give me a patch. <laughs> um, I'd like to mention something that more or less more often. Uh, appeared on the backports mailing list in recent times that I responded to. Um, the backport service is not for working around getting bug fixes into stable. The backport service is about adding, having new features available in stable. So if you are annoyed by a bug in a package in stable, please try to get it fixed in stable and not get a backport of the next version just to get that bug fixed. That's the wrong approach. Did I cover everything up so well that there are no more ideas spinning around how to improve? It isn't actually an infrastructure improvement question as such, but one of the policies for backport uploads right now is that the changes file include all the changes from the last uploaded version to the current version that you are uploading right now, and that's really painful for no apparent use. So is it planned to change that policy or... When no, not, not change logs, changes files. When this point is done, that will get uh, this point removed from from the policies, because you can do then uh, you can do aptitude change log and get the change log for the backports version. You can look it up on packages deviant.org before you download the packages, 
And that's, for me, the reason to get rid of this specific point in the backports policy. No more further questions. Can you publicly comment on the policy that packages that are um, from unstable that are installable as is unstable should not go into backports? Um, that's more or less um, to some. It depends. Uh, if there is a user base uh, that would would like to see this package available and stable, then that's a clear sign that it can go to backports, even if it's directly installable from unstable. Um, it is there to not have every single package that you maybe just use for yourself and other users might not use. Uh, you put into the backports archive to not make it explode because every single package might affect something else. Like we had, I think it was Xulrana, which had severe influence on even GNU cache. Yes, and there might, especially with libraries, there might be some influence on other areas and affect things that you might not foresee. And because people use backports on their stable system, they expect a certain stability from these packages. And therefore, we really would like to keep the packages at a minimum area. But I know that pinning can be quite a pain in the ass. So you really go. Uh, feel invited if you have a certain user base that is interested to have the package backported or if you like to have it installed on a DSA administrated Debian org machine then there's no way around to get it into backports so just do it. Is anyone following on IRC? Maybe someone commenting there? Do you have a good way of determining whether or not there is a user base that might want a package in backports that if, of course, you're not aware yourself? Um, well, it's always the judgment of the maintainer. Like, we also expect the maintainers, the uploaders to the unstable archive to make proper judgments in that respect. Like Thomas Koch uh, mentioned some package that he get uh, removed from the archive again because he wasn't very keen on the quality of the code of the project. And to some degree we, we expect similar judgment and we have a certain trust in our Debian developers that they make proper judgments in that respect. It seems you um, have. Oh, I think. Uh, what's the status of uh, allowing all Debian developers or Debian maintainers uh, ability to upload to backports? Is that? A about Debian maintainers, uh, the person that would be able to answer that just left the room. Um. Uh -huh. <laughs> he knew I was going to ask that question. <laughs> uh, I think it is planned, but I don't know the details. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely on their channel. I think there are some sort of technical problems because the duck code to some degree differs from, from the main archive to backports. And 
I'm not involved in encoding in Duck directly, so I can't really comment on that part. About um, allowing everyone to upload directly, we usually approve everyone that wants to upload. On the other hand, we want to have this certain uh, that the reason behind the extra clearing to some degree is to make people aware that these packages are directly installed on stable machines and want to remind them that they should just upload with special care and it, it's just an additional reminder for, for that. Uh, it's not like we are blocking requests to get added to the key ring. Yeah. You're back. Um, there was a question directed at you about uh, the status of Debian maintainer uploads no for backports. No change currently. <laughs> so it's on hold. <laughs> okay. Seems we have happy users and happy developers. That's very great. Um, so thank you all for using Backports. Of course, thank you all for contributing to Backports, taking proper care of your packages within Backports, um, responding to bug reports specific to Backports and for not getting annoyed when someone else uploads your, back, uh, your package to backports and you get bug reports about that. Um, we will continue with the service. Uh, we get good feedback from a lot of areas and we see that it's really needed and we are glad that, it's, that it is also appreciated. Thanks. Um,